right. Hello, 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 hello. I have fallen off the bottom <clears throat> of the webcam, but here I am. All right, so you can see me. You can hear me. All the things. I hope your Thursday is going good. Oh, I So we're going to have to do a recap of a bunch of things that have been going on Yesterday, day before, day before that, basically this week, and do a little talk about what's coming up, because there's some good stuff coming up. I'm not going to dive directly into the code right this minute. I'm going to talk about some stuff, and then we might actually do a little bit of video tweaking, etc., because I'm, I'm kind of behind in, in some of the things. Maybe I'll do it off stream, but I need, I need to get multiple things done and they don't all involve code, unfortunately. But let's talk about what is coming up that does involve a lot of code, configuration hacking, system stuff, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, gonna get a little background music going on here because I like background music. Let's hear some pretzel rocks. Here we go. There we go. Okay, so uh, just a little bitty, little bitty bit of background music there. Nothing, nothing major loud or anything. If it is loud, please let me know. Otherwise, let's get into what is going on. So first things first, what is coming up on stream here in the near future? That's a good question. I got some cool stuff lined up. Uh, let's take a look here. For one, here's the event so far. This is, this is what we're involved in at this very moment. This is what you are participating in, is the Thrashing Co. General Calamity. And we do have General Calamity right now. So, but as you see right under that, Archie's Gore is, hello, Frackberg, how are you? So on the 13th, I'm going to be talking to Archie's we are going to be streaming right here on Thrashing Code, my channel, in the living room section of my office here, talking about all sorts of stuff. I don't even know all the details of what we're going to talk about. Um, oh, God. An eight-hour drive? That is brutal. Man, I don't like to drive for like five minutes. I get all moody and stuff. I'll ride my bike for eight hours, though. I'm crazy like that. But then after that, uh, on the 14th is... I didn't put the name in this one. But uh, Vanessa is going to come in and talk to us. Uh, pedal. I have to, I have to like be doing something all the time. If I'm not doing something, I get kind of pissy. Even if it's just laying around in bed, like on a train... I was a sleeper, you know, going to Chicago for two days. As long as I got a beer, just chilling, hacking on some code, reading a book, looking out the window, watching, I'm great. But if I had to sit there and hold the steering wheel straight, I just go to sleep. It's bad news. I mean, I can legally drive and everything. I just choose not to ever do it. Um, sometimes I have to do it. Like, I'm going to have to haul some stuff this weekend, so go load up a pickup truck probably get 500 pounds in it break the springs <laughs> uh we'll see how that goes though the rain ride oh yeah i think i heard about that one that's pretty cool so yeah we got vanessa coming in and as you can see i've got three interviews lined up where people are going to come in and we're going to talk about tech it's going to be whatever they want to talk about. Nothing specific. We don't have anything super ironed down or anything like that. Like, we've talked a little bit about it beforehand, but that's it. And we're going to get into whatever it is. So it might be hardcore Docker containers. It might be how to hire and build a team. It might be Kubernetes. It might be coding, patterns and practices, 
data patterns and algorithms. Who knows? It's going to be different for every guest, as one would might you know expect, right? With different people, you'd talk about different things and all sorts of jazz. Also coming up, um, I need to edit the video from last night's meeting where Travis Matera came in and talked to us about Datadog and a bunch of other stuff, basically about having uh, insights, observability into applications and things like that. So that should be pretty cool. Um, I wanted to stream it last night, but I had a moment of stupidity. I got all the way downtown. I had all my streaming gear, except for the thing that had the checklist for all the streaming gear on it, my computer. Yeah, that happened. I was so pissed at myself, but I got video because I have a video camera. One of the cams that I use for streaming because it has the zoom on it, right? Like an effective zoom, unlike this little Logitech one here, the 920, this is good for this, but it's not good for a distance shot, right? Well, pointed the webcam and filmed the talk. So that worked out really great. And I'm gonna get the slide deck from Travis. I get the video and I'm gonna splice it together and hopefully we'll get a good uh, talk video out of that. And I will upload it. We'll have a premiere here on Twitch and we'll have a premiere on YouTube about the same time. I will post it here on the events page. So here, here on the events page. Uh, so you'll be able to know when that is available and you come in here and set yourself a reminder. Also there on the 21st, is a meetup with Charlie Green and Charles Sullivan. That should be a pretty interesting meeting. It's about event, event, event driven stuff, event systems, CQRS systems, things like that. Uh, good stuff though. So definitely worth attending. <clears throat> we'll have drinks afterwards and all that good jazz like we usually do at meetups. Also, there is another meetup that I will be posting very, very soon for next month, Kartik from Streamlio is coming into town here in Seattle and I will be streaming that live and also will be attending the meetup. And as always, come have a beer with us afterwards. Uh, and if not, you know, like if you're in Indiana, for example, just watch the stream. It'll be on, I'll get it up here on Twitch and we'll have a good time. I field any of the questions for the speakers. Works out real good. And then... Uh, we have another guest who is coming in here. I need to remember to put the guest's name in the title of the things. Uh, yep, I gotta add that in here. Oh, Mattias, Mattias from Datastax, who I work with. Uh, he's gonna come in and talk to us about AppStax, which does a lot of the schema migration data for the overall arching system whenever you implement the Datastax enterprise system i.e. Apache Cassandra distributed database, and you want to do schema on top of that, you want to get data models, you want to build out your things for your application to use. AppStax is a tool that we're building here at Datastax to, whoop, hiccups. Yep, that hit me in the face. To basically make it easier to do that so you can get back into building an application sooner than if you had to sit there and manually write out all the CQL or something like that. So, pretty nice tool pretty excited about that one that's gonna be a lot of fun um we recorded a distributed data show back in april or may something like that with him and it is on the data stacks devs youtube channel right now if you want to go check that out uh and then the other thing that i've been fighting with which i think we'll look at today is some packer stuff and I'm just going to walk through and get you up to speed where I've gotten to error-wise and take a look at it from that perspective. Um, then also, as always, pretzel. That's what I listen to usually during these streams. So I'm going to turn this down a little bit more. Whoops. For myself there. I think you can still hear it a little bit. should be able to. And then... All right, what are we going to get into here? <clears throat> also, hi, Chris. Packer is cool, but it can get... Oh, God. Yeah, you're telling me. One of the errors uh, that I got 
See, Chris, I know you're watching because it says right here, unless Twitch is lying to me again. Gareth is watching Old Man Cephas. And David's watching Tsoju TV. What is Tsoju TV? I don't even know. The Shoulders of Giants? Oh, interesting. So what what is this though? To so now I'm curious. Do people actually like do they build a bunch of different stuff? Oh, look at that. Background electrical, optical, and biomedical engineering. University of Texas Dallas. Shit. They're getting a follow. Heck yeah, this is this is a freaking awesome channel. There we go. Okay. So anyway, I close that though. Uh, and let's see here. Yeah. So here's where I'm at with my script. Well, let's see. I'll get into this. Explain to you what I am trying to do and where I have gotten to. <clears throat> Some of this is nuts. Oh, listen, the song has such a bass drop in the, in the rock channel. It's got a ma massive bass drop. It's kind of cool. By the way, Chris, I'm this close, this close to pulling the trigger on TwitchCon. Trying to figure out a few last minute things just to make sure that if I do it, it's going to work. Um, cause otherwise I don't get down there and be like, oh shit, I can only stay one day and then I have to fly home or something stupid. I want to do it full on hardcore. I'm going to bring a bike down, ride San Diego, probably ride LA for a few days. Maybe even do a beach house, do some of that shit. Just, I don't know. Maybe even go surf or something. Maybe I drag my brother out from Florida. That'd be super badass. But, uh, I don't know. I'll figure out something, but I'm, I'm either going to do it all the way or just, not do it. I hope I don't not do it because I could only go one day or something. That would just, just suck though. Um, I'm going to do it full bore. All right. So here's, here's what I've been trying to do. I'm going to show y'all what I've been trying to do here. Here is it's here, node, node JSON. Nothing to do with Node.js. I should rename this. Anyway, it's just an Ubuntu server that I'm trying to spin up. 16.04 right here. Um, I have the storage account, group name, base Ubuntu image, and of course this pertinent information here, which I pull from the environment variables. JH Cursel. Hello, JH Cursel. Welcome to the mosh pit of crashing code and breaking <sighs> Packer JSON files. Uh, this is what we do every day, well, almost every day. Uh, most days, most days we do this. So yeah, I got, I got all this pertinent stuff in here. Here is the environment variables designated in this block, however you refer to it that way. Um, the group name, I realized I have to create with this command, which is different than, let's say, let's say I go in, where is, No, that's not what I wanted. I wanted somewhere I got Azure, my Azure console open. Ah, here it is. So like I went in here to look at resource groups, right? So there's, there's Adrian's images. Okay, we'll click on this. There's the storage. So if I go back over to Visual Studio Code, this is the thing I create, right? Adrian's images in West US2, which is down in the Dalles near Portland, um, and Adrian's images storage. So that's literally what we just looked at, right? So that's built, and I found that I have to build that via the command AZ group create. Because I tried doing the same thing in Terraform, and it just creates a resource group that's not got. It's not got the right permissions or it's not a managed resource group or something like that. It's a little fuzzy. And I've been trying to figure out what the correct resource is 
to use Terraform to actually create this in phase one. And just like last night where Travis was talking about one of the things with Terraform that gets a little trippy is you end, these, you end up in these like multi-state situations where like one environment is in one state and then another environment's in another state. With the resource groups in Azure, that kind of helps because you use a resource group per uh, environment state, which is kind of a good logical thing to mesh to with Terraform. But even then, you end up in this situation where like I'm trying to build images and I want to use Terraform to build out the ecosystem pieces like that storage here and the group here that the storage will be in via Terraform instead of via the CLI commands. But that's where things get difficult, right? Because, okay, I create this stuff, which needs a service principle. So I should have something create a service principle, but I'm just like, screw it. I don't, I'm not going to do like three phases just so the first one creates a service principle, stops with a bunch of output parameters, does some other thing, then moves to this next phase. That's just too many different variations of state. So I went ahead and just created a service principle to do this stuff with. And now I'm moving forward. Now I might move back and just automate all of it from the complete start. But at this point, I'm assuming that you have an account on Azure and you have a service principle associated with that account that can do deployments. It's using the RBAC. So, all right, we have our resource group here, as you can see in the code or in the bash, I'll call it bash. And then we have the bash command that creates a storage. Then we have the Packer build command. Hello, Cuskerman. Just looking at some Packer stuff right now. And that's right here. Okay. So it's using the node JSON file. And then I pass in two variables, group name and storage name. So if we look back at node JSON, we got, oh, I need to fix that. So it's storage account. So that'll be this. And then resource group name will be this one. There we go. Okay, so that that should work with that. So let's see here. Where do we get with this stuff? So if I run this build script, if the group and if the storage don't exist, it'll just create it, right? If it already exists, it just skips it, which is one of the nice things about the Azure CLI tool. It's basically indipotent or idempotent, however you say that. Uh, so let's do a build and we should see it pop through. There we go, this verified it didn't do anything because those two things exist. But then what happened here? Packer build options will execute multiple builds in parallel as defined in the template. Here's my echo command, but then, okay, we're gonna need to, what happened? Did I do something wrong here? Let's do this. Let's let's run it statically. How's that sound? So this is storage account, Adrian's image storage. And then this one is going to be Adrian's eh, images. Yeah, images. How's Poland today, Kuskeman? All good over there on the Eastern Front? I don't know, is that a tasteless joke? It's not even really a joke, it's just like an inferred context of history, really. But I just realized that as I said it, that could be offensive, I guess, in some places. All right, so this, I did that, and then let's just run the command, see what we get. Okay, it says this too. So what, what the heck, packer build node. If it says that, it should say that the, yeah, the parameters aren't set. So yeah, like Fragberg was saying, packer not always super good with the error messages. Sometimes they're quite cryptic. So let's see here, uh, packer variables. Right, and then somewhere here is bald. I'm not looking for bald. 
Yeah, here we go. What's what's up with this? Do I need to do single quotes? Does it have to be single quotes? Oh my goodness, is that... Oh, I'm putting too many quotes. Oh my goodness, that's that's what it needs. To, it needs to be like this. Actually, let's since I realize that, let's fix this. We'll just run the script again. Because basically, I want to be able to indefinitely or idempotently run the script, right? No. What do you mean? Oh, maybe, maybe this? No, okay, that didn't work either. Variable for templates can be used multiple times. Bar, dash bar. Oh. It doesn't it doesn't frickin' work. What the hell? Let's try a var file. Let's just do that. New file, variables.json. Um, back, back in here. Do packer build node.json. Oh, wait. Do I need to do. Damn it. That's what it was. Okay. Oh, so it didn't take, didn't take my damn variables. Let's see what that does. Okay, well, forget it then. Let's just set set the damn thing. So, storage account. Nope. Research group name Adrian's images, and then Adrian images storage. Okay, so this should work. Build Node.js. No, I mean Node.json. What the frick? Oh, resource group name. Crap. And storage account. Storage account. Oops. Oh God. All right, let's, let's bounce back to this. Resource group name. And this resource group name must be the regular expression. Either VHD storage account, resource group name, or managed image. Or managed image. So maybe, maybe not this stuff. Because I had added that. Whoops. 
There we go. See, that's that's Packer life right there. Now, the crux is, I've been running this. And as you can see down here, I have a provisioner, which runs, it does some CH mod, pseudo, something, bananas, bananas. Echo, does this even work? And and that's basically it, right? So it's a, it's a shell command, runs a shell command. And it's been erroring out somewhere around that phase, which is problematic. It's been kind of driving me nuts. And here in the Packer builds in Azure documentation, let's see here. Yeah, so it says blah, 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 run, log in, get your uh, subscription ID and other pertinent information, which I have here, right? It's pulling from environment variables that I've set. Create a resource group, which we did. Create a whatever that said, create, yeah, do that, then create, oh yeah, the storage account, which we did, as you can see back here in my build. So I've created the storage account, created the resource group, and then I have created a service principle, okay? So it exists, I have that permission. So all that's done, and now I'm trying to run this documentation build here with basically this this image right actually let's let's do this let's do this vm size location azure tags let's take i think this is this is where i added that or something but anyway it's building right now but i bet it errors out again it's been erroring out every freaking time I'll figure out the variables a little later. Packer build node JSON. <clears throat> Did I miss anything in chat? I totally like phased out. Just started working on that. I'm showing everybody that. And I don't know if anybody else. My chat phased. Okay, cool. I didn't miss nothing then. Oops, there we go. Now you can see it. Uh, oh, we got 12 people doing some Packer, some, some HashiCorp Packer, trying to build a damn image. Oh. So, yeah, still building here. If we go take a look... <clears throat> if we go take a look at... I don't know where I keep putting my Azure bit. Where did it go? Azure, Azure. Well, we'll just open it up. Uh, console. Or portal, I guess they call it. GCP has a console, Azure has a portal, and AWS has a, I don't know what AWS is, is called, dashboard, something, interface, um, yeah, so there's, it's, oh, Adrian's images, yeah, 14 minutes ago, that was created, storage created five hours ago. Oh, AWS console too, okay. So here, let's hear it. This, this right scale stuff is already there, but here's all that Packer stuff building, right? So there's the image storage. New group, doesn't have anything to do with it, but these PKI, PKR bits, that is all being done around building the image right now. How are we doing? Yeah, nothing in particular. All right, I'm gonna sit back and relax just for a second. Yeah, I try not to open that stuff either. The only time I ever open it is like, if I'm running Terraform or something and something just doesn't show or whatever, I'm like, well, is it showing the console? Even though I, I use the CLI half the time to do that too. It's like, you know, list my, 
list my instances or whatever. Come on, Packer. Get it done. Yeah, same thing. That's that's usually all I'm doing. I wonder why Amazon Energy, antioxidant rich energy drink. Why does it seem like every energy energy drink on the planet is antioxidant rich? See, like I would show you again. You see that? Antioxidant rich. What does that mean? Uh, TF stands for Terraform. It's a HashiCorp tool. Uh, which some of this is in this project I'll show you. The one where we're running Packer right now. The Packer stuff is written in JSON, which I have here, right? It's in the Packer directory, and I just have a bash script, putting it all together and then attempting to run it. But then, um, yeah, I guess that is what it is, Chris. Because it's definitely, let's see, what is it? Oh, bananas. This has no vitamin Bs. I'm kind of freaked out, man. That's super strange. Potassium, sodium, carbohydrates, 10%. Vitamin C, 150%. But, uh, let's get that acai, 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 berry, whatever that is. Um, yeah, it doesn't have it. I'm kind of freaked out by that. I haven't had a quote unquote energy drink without vitamin B and I don't know since when, but this one is uh, yeah, antioxidant rich energy drink, acai berry and passion fruit, Amazon energy, organic, whatever that means. Oh look, the organic is the right green that it goes invisible and you can see like the thing behind me, weird. I don't know. It's like 2.5 shots of espresso, it says. Oh, it's got Yerba Mate extract. That sounds kind of psychotically crazy. That stuff's supposed to be awesome. But anyway, it's pretty good. I got other ones, though, that definitely, they have like an insane number of B vitamins, and they make you nuts. Just wire you up and get you going all damn day. So it looks like, let's see, what do we got here going on so far? Created a resource group. Would you create a, that's kind of confusing. So I have to create a resource group, but then it creates a resource group. Then validating deployment template, this thing. Yeah, you can see it gives it the unique hash or whatever that is. And then resource group name, deployment name. Then it gets the VM's IP address, starts to do things to it. Oh, I guess that's, there's the IP of it. Okay, then con connected to SSH, then it provisions with the shell script. Oh, and there's my echo. Does this even work? And now it's doing other stuff. So I guess it it built the image, theoretically, right? But now it's cleaning up, querying the machine's additional disk properties, blah, 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 powering off the machine. This is usually where things go sideways for me. Yeah, yeah, Fragberg. I, I've always been super tripped out by some of the stuff it, it creates. I mean, whatever, though. As long as it gets the job done, I don't really care because my thing is I want the image I want the image baked with what I need on it already so I can use Terraform to do an infrastructure as code deployment of what I'm building in this case try to build a Cassandra cluster inside Azure
Yep, exactly. Same boat. That thing's creating keys. Are you kidding me? Shit. What is even going on? Right? Out there doing weird magical unicorn stuff that I don't know about. I don't know. I don't know. But it appears to clean it all up and do what it is sold to do. So that's the that's the kicker. As long as it's doing that, I'm all good. Hey. Capturing image. Oh, powering off machine capturing images. That's right. So it has to create an entire virtual machine to actually take an image of the drive. So then you have that image and then it nukes the machine, right? Because all you're going for is the image to build machines off of. But you need a machine in the first place to build the image to take or to build a drive to take the image of to have an image to build drives. I mean, to build, yeah, to build OSs, i.e. virtual machines in the future that have an active drive that are full virtual machines that are derived from the image. It's a it's a process and a half. Seems like it takes a few more steps than what the same thing the same functional result on GCP or AWS. It seems like this takes a few more steps for some reason. I don't know why. Oh man, this one sounds like an eight string guitar. Created by Packer. Deleting the resource group, that's cool. Oh, speaking of that, let's let's check. Let's check on something very, very important here. Oh yeah, here we go. We're gonna take a quick look. Yeah, it does. It does sound like a sound. Oh, I'm fighting. I'm fighting this Packer. This Packer stuff. Oh, look at that guitar. Oh, look at that guitar. Sick. Left-handed. Oh, that one's spunky. All right. Let's get in here. Wait, where did my... Six, six, seven string. What is the status of this pre-order? September 30th. So September 30th. I'm treating myself to this bad sucker right here. This is one mean ass guitar. Auto-tune bridge, or not auto-tune, ever-tune they call it. Cause it ain't like auto-tune. Auto-tune's some fake crap, but uh, oh yeah. Uh, playing, playing a seven and eight string, I like having that extra low note. You get that crazy gent style metal. Beautiful, beautiful. And this has got those beveled edges right there on the V part. So like you, you're not cutting your circulation off when you lean your hand against the guitar right there. Cause like when you're, when you're holding it down and you're, and you're playing it, the guitar edge usually pushes right in there and it'll cut your circulation off and your hand needs circulation cause you're picking, right? So this one is just, every, I've watched so many people on YouTube play it and I'm sold. I won it yesterday, but it's been on, it's been sold out now for a couple of weeks. Look at that, look at that beveled edge. So freaking nice. And then it's basically like a neck through body. Yeah, super badass. How are we doing here? See, why, why does it take Packer so long to delete a resource group? I guess it's actually waiting to verify that all of that shit that was built and put into the resource group is deleted too, which would, which would seriously take time, like maybe even five or 10 minutes. I don't know. Um, just manually going in and creating a bunch of stuff that's in a resource group usually takes me several minutes or I, I watch it for several minutes deleting itself. Um, so yeah, I guess that's, what's going on there. You just don't see the results. Yeah, 
No, I have same thing in, yeah, when I'm using AWS, I get that. And when I'm using doing the same type of stuff in Azure, usually the same situation time-wise or even longer. Like uh, I've had experience where Azure routinely takes 40 to 120% of the time as much. Look at this. So Packer crashed. This is the thing that I've run into. So crash log has been placed at crash.log relative to your current working directory. All right, so, but... So let's see, it started deleting the resource group. Resource group was created by Packer, deleting, deleting the temporary OS disk, deleting the temporary additional disk, and then boom, nukes goes sideways. Go routine 66. And then, what is this? Oh, there's the crash log. Well, that should be. Oh, there it is. One, four, two. One, twelve, six of go. No, Oracle Classic. What the, why is that shit in there? Why is any of these plugins in there? I don't know. Big file. That's where we seem to blow up. Well, let's see. Let's see about this. Let's file an issue. What is this? Confirm your account. Whatever, get out of here. Ah, come on. So first thing, let's see here. I know they have a new issue template, yeah. So delete this template before submitting. Only use GitHub issues to report bugs or feature requests. See, blah. Uh, yes, I can totally do that. I have done that. So let's do that. Packer validate node.json. Yep. We're good. Yeah, I did I did that earlier too. I didn't do that on stream. Just spaced out, forgot about it. Uh, but yeah, I definitely was validating it because I was doing some other flaky stuff yesterday too. Um... So, oh, we're, oh shit, I got rid of that, that error message. Yeah, but it's, it's almost like, yeah, I've had that too, but this one, that, that log, that crash log, where'd it go? There it is. It's saying EOF too, right? So somewhere, yeah, EOF. Yeah, that's super freaking weird. What version of, let's hear, Packer, Packer version 142. Oh, damn it. My water bottle's in the way of me seeing what thing I've clicked on. So we're on 142. Yep, 142. Oh yeah, IRC bug tracker. Okay, well I'm gonna go in here. Not 
have bugs within Packer and are better addressed by the mailing list. Feature, describe the feature you want and your use case clearly for bugs. Describe the problem and include the following information Packer version for from Packer version. Let's do that. Uh, Packer version that's 4.2. Um, log below oh paste in the gist okay you got it just dot github dot com the error I've been getting from Packer image building on Azure We'll do version that's uh, your host running on Linux. Oh, what Linux on? Uh, shoot, check Linux kernel version, uh, check Linux version. I think that's what they'd want, right? Almost there. Okay, right. Okay, 
features. I've been running a basic packer build uh, cluster node.json to build an image, a very simple image that I got from the Hashi for docs and have been getting an error Oops. on the final cleanup of resources. on Azure with Docker. Oh, there we go. Okay. So now here's the thing. Okay, I just did that, right? Just filed that bug. But let's go look. I bet you, yeah. So here's the image. It created an image. It just didn't do the cleanup. So let's create a VM off of that. Actually, let's do this. Terraform. Whoops. Terraform. Create image. Whoops. Create VM from image. Ah. From Azure Platform Image. Yeah, this is what we want. So let's take all this. Yeah, okay. And then we're going to put that in. Let's put this. Oops, not bad. Delete. testing so then here we'll put a main.tf we're going to copy all this in and then let's uh let's hear all right so that's network stuff here's a virtual machine so it says all this stuff but where do i pick mine Oh, heck. I'm just going to go in here still and just test it out. Just test it out and see if we can actually start a VM from that image. Or find out if the image is just tanked, right? This worked, maybe. No. This worked, maybe. Um, nope. Nope. I want to do that. That is fine. Oh, maybe image. Still getting this one ready to try out here in a minute. This one. Hi, thick butt head. Um, currently, 
I can show you how I'm building this image and I can show you how to code not right now but uh, I do do a lot of coding on this channel so if you stick around you will see lots of coding and eventually eventually you will learn how to code um this is authentication account type let's do this let's say uh, me backwards but really there you go that password will work well, let's let some ports And SSH, yeah. Okay, then, so then, review and create. Let's create a, a thing off of this. I'm magical though, Frackberg. I'm sure someone can learn to code by watching me for 11 years. <laughs> so create, create. There we go. Deployment in progress. <laughs> That's it, just one more year. One more year and you're gonna be there. That's all it takes. 365 days, an energy drink, and one more year. So, so far this appears to be working. Tic-tac-toe in Python. So wait, VNet created NSG. I don't know what NSG is. What is NSG? Johnny Robot. Welcome to the Mosh Pit. Thank you for joining my friend. We're here tearing it up in the code, in the configuration, in the infrastructure, all the time, almost every day. Welcome to the Mosh Pit of Chaos. So what do we got here? SSH? Why is this exclamation point? What is, what's wrong? Why is it why is it hurt? 320 priority. Oh yeah, no, no shit, okay. Yes, so just so everyone knows, you should not, you should not open SSH ports to the public internet. You should VPN via a nice secure VPN connection into your network, into Azure in this case, and then have your SSH connection for connecting to your servers. Better yet, have your production servers not even run an SSH server to connect to. Crazy idea, huh? Show you how to do that sometime too. It's pretty badass. Don't tell my Git server that. I know, right? But as that, you saw that message that said for development. Gets for development, so you can SSH into it. Totally cool, totally legal. Totally allowed to do that. But not your production boxes. Not your production tightly hardened secure boxes, right? Fail to ban? I'm not horribly concerned. I'm not horribly concerned about anything. I mean, the internet's a wide open pile a heap of stuff <laughs> yeah it does doesn't it <laughs> an angry ip scanner i am angry ip scanner so let's see did we did we get this to work is this working so i feel like 
updates this fuss about creator update network security group yeah whatever so oh so that's the overview let's go back to all resources resources This worked maybe. Oh, and here's the public IP. So I should be able to SSH into this public IP, right? Let's try that. What did I do? Oh, whoops. Uh, what do you do? You do SSH uh, Adrian at at uh, Itcher, and then, oh wait, that's not it. I think I forgot the password already. Or did I? Ugh. Clearly I did. How, I set the password freaking two minutes ago. But it's not password one, two, three. I wish it were. Ah. All right, let, forget it. Let's do this. Delete this one, yes. What? No, oh, well, delete the whole, delete the whole thing. I stop. No, just get get it out of there. Okay. Then delete. Let's stop. Okay, you stop more, I guess. Let's go back into this image. Let's create a VM. We're gonna create a VM and let's, yep, all the stuff. So let's just call this ASDF, ASDF. Uh, size. We're gonna go with this one. Select. Then here we're gonna do this. Adrian and my favorite password or something. God damn it, all these stupid. Things, okay, and then allow selected ports. Let's use SSH and create. And create. Yeah, so that should be working now. Okay, so that's working. Go back to all resources. <laughs> oh, y'all stop telling me your passwords. You know that's not safe. You're going to got all the hacksers hacksing into our shit. Okay, here we go. Here we go. No. Is that one still there? Okay, so while this is creating for a minute, I'm going to look back at uh, this. Let's do this. Let's edit this. However, even with this failure, it appears that the image is being created, and I am able to create a VM from the image after the fact. Being there is an error occurring on cleanup leaves me with a problematic automation of this capability. Since it appears the error isn't a cor correct triggering of the error. But then maybe something is still wrong with the overall setup. Is there a shrug? Shrug? Yeah, man shrugging. 
there. I've updated my contraption. Let's see. So here, though, storage image reference. Do that story. Well, so I guess does that make me the publisher or something? Like, how do I refer to an image, an existing image? Let's just do this Terraform Azure use existing image to build VM. Oh, that's weird. Hedge Pest. I like that name. That's a good name. Hedge Hedge Pest. Hedge Pest. Something like that. Create source VMD provision sys rev deallocate generalize create image. Create virtual machine with this. Okay, so. Oh. Hmm. Okay, so there's that from image. Great option from image. Rewrite. Yeah, that makes sense. So you're doing it from this. Oh no. Build sticks. good stuff so rookie dokie Azure, Azure image wait what is this oh this is the creating of just an image So, what the fuck? So if I create an image with Terraform, oh yeah, see, so it's your packer, uh, use existing Azure image. Oh, I wanna know about that. did that packer how do you use packer to create windows uh do i want to let it do it for this resource manager hmm Yeah, I'm gonna have to do that, I guess.
Okay. Well... That is, that's moderately frustrating. That this is this much work. Not have to use. Do I know your time? Hmm. Problem. Anyway, frustrating. Frustrating, frustrating, frustrating. So there's as the bad the there's the IP. So let's do this. Stage. So updates working, machine seems to be working. Pretty frustrating, honestly. <sighs> what the hell? So let's hear, can I delete this? And then I need to go and delete. Oh, I selected all. I can't delete all of it at one time anyway. Uh, let's see if I can do this though. Delete Adrian's images. Oh yeah, so it's saying I'm gonna delete everything, which is what I want to do. Wipe it all out. Scorched earth policy. Well, while all that happens, it's raid time again. Raid time again. Let's see what's up out here in the universe. Who's up to mischievousness? Who should we raid? Who should we raid? Who should we raid? Wow. Not a lot of people doing stuff right now. Just do right. his program is he got his I think he's just doing his TV channel still so Python flask packet manipulation and pen testing net sec let's uh yeah we're gonna raid him so do right I hope everybody will join me for the raid until next time I am out so in about 45 seconds, we will raid Do Right. Again, please join me. Great scene, everybody. Cheerio. Have a good one.
Okay, here we go. I didn't type it right like five times, so. <laughs> oh, so bad at this computer thing sometimes. Oh, damn it. Raid. Do right. There we go. Here we go, everybody. Please join me in the raid. Cheerio. Until next time.